it or deny what I say is the truth and if they don't it then we're going to run a court hearing in Auckland in our own magistrate court with the paramount chiefs they are the commercial landowners <coughs> of New Zealand and um, we're going to run the court hearing then fire it online straight into the Supreme Court in London <coughs> and they'll make a two-hour court ruling on Cook Street and John Key, uh, the, the, the bank fraud land transactions on Cook Street and John Key's Panama Papers is going to feature straight into the court there and they'll make a ruling on it because no one's answering up to um, um, refute what I'm saying online in front of the whole world watching. It's too late because there's just too much things online now that I have there that will um, more than nullify any claims that anyone cares to make against us online. Okay, so I uh, just run along here. Um, and um, what I wanted to say at this stage was that the court hearings that we conduct um, um, more or less um, for the community's interests or in private individual but uh, we we are making this um, uh, a, a case of community as being um, most people who are well off would form about 30 percent of the population of New Zealand others who are deprived will fall into the 70 percent of wealth um, that people don't have. Those are who we are running under the King's common people, common law people of the world. In New Zealand's case is 70% of the people are either in the low income bracket. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. This flag is for you. My eyes for you. And King Ernest Augustus, the real king, he is the um, inheritor of the eight point star he's wearing he's the right bloodline to king william the fourth that put this flag together for us in a private contract and the pound notes and coins gold coins he put all of that together for us okay so there's no argument against his authority and his ancestor king william the third that created the bank of england and the pound note and this eight point star um, municipalities for collecting the rent and the rates from councils and um, um, also for administrative costs that <coughs> the to run his businesses in parliaments so I'm um, putting it this way the sovereign at the moment of Britain is the Queen and she is a partner to her Maoris here she's abandoned she's abandoned the ship of Admiralty and gone into the EU Parliament as a threat against the King, a threat against this King, and a threat against us with the eight point star badge and the hat here, and against these Paramount Chiefs and their hapu and Fano in New Zealand. She's a threat against our partner here in East Island. Rapa Nui here um, um, and I'm here and he's there okay so um, um, that's our bloodlines and this is the Maui statue in Dunedin South Island the government here and the Queen made sure to put the crown on his head on this Maui in Dunedin for her Pakia people down there so this is my own sovereignty to me and um, Hitorangi, um, uh, in that's his name, Hitorangi, Santo, Santo Hitorangi, uh, is the same looking as me, the same bloodline as me, the same DNA, D DNA, and the same whakapapa and um, traditional uh, um, title uh, to this Maui statue with his crown on his head. This is an earth crown, not a metal crown. That's our title, that's his title, that's my title, that's my 
words on there of my Wānoa family, Wānoa to him and the Wānoa people in East Thailand. And that's why the Queen stole this and put them where she wanted that one in London and this one in Dunedin to hide her business here. We're seizing off her back into the King's royal revenue, um, sovereign monarch bloodlines. She's the wrong bloodline. Uh, Prince William and Prince Harry is the wrong bloodlines and Prince Charles is the wrong bloodlines. They're not in our bloodlines of these kings that I just told you, those four kings. <coughs> and so um, uh, that's basically what I'm saying is that the Queen is only there for her own private interests and not of her Maori people or us, the Paramount Chiefs, interest in this country. She has banned them and so I'm saying her monarchy and her sovereignty is at stake with all of this going on to the uh, royal revenue that one, one sovereign to the other uh, is um, uh, controlled by Westminster Parliament. We're, we're, we've got issues, legal issues with Westminster Parliament on the uh, fraudulent um, um, administration inside that parliament and Theresa May here has to side with her coat of arms with our coat of arms that I'm wearing on my shirt here and the coat of arms here on King William and we've got more than enough um, traditional uh, uh, title information to um, to um, make them pay up for all their wrongdoing. Okay, so Theresa May has ousted Scotland and First Prime Minister Nicholas Sturgeon out of 10 Downing Street. Uh, so um, there's some um, some um, oppositions going on. Uh, access denied, number, number 10, cancels Sturgeon's right to meetings. These are posts that I write on and put up there because I'm, I'm right up to speed with what's going on politically in the world, in America and in Britain, because we're here, I'm here with the Paramount Chiefs to protect our own interests in King's Matters and Paramount Chiefs is equal par. We have a, a, a private contract at 1834 with this flag that is nobody's business. That's our own business on how we deal with trade between ourselves and Britain. If, uh, and we're accusing the British government of mismanagement of our trust uh, um, investment interests and we're going to recover all of that, right? So um, I think that's about all I want to uh, say for now. Um, and there, 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 I'll just show you this picture. Now this one says a lot. All these documents I put together myself. Now here you have, um, um, you have the connection here in New Zealand to Devonport, to Devonport in, um, in um, Plymouth, uh, England to Devonport here and Plymouth, New Plymouth here to Plymouth uh, in England as I've locked it into the seals on the top of our documents to King William the uh, Fourth in private contracts. I've got myself in the court here and you can see here where I've got the thing here and these are public. We've, we've got these out in the public. Everybody's seeing um, the, the, uh, the, these documents. You can see the real seal here, the gold seal of King William here on his horse and his ship of Admiralty in the background. This is what is on this eight point star of municipalities to collect the rates and rent and everything in councils for the administration of his business. Okay, so there's our flag flying on this Ocean Monarch ship there. Okay, so it's not as though it's not, it's, it's a proper um, a ship shipping flag so it's more than just a flag it's got more more going on kings 
authority and jurisdiction to do what we want with our business. That's our business and it's not for anybody to inquire into what we say and do online and um, uh, anybody tempering with our contract is in trouble. That's what I'm saying about Cook Street. They tempered with the police, CIB, Auckland Police, CIB, tempered with our contract and also Bailey's Real Estate tempered with our contract and also the council. Everyone's liable, the whole lot, and John Key government and Build English government in this country is all liable. They're all liable. They're all in it with the Queen. The Queen and the Pope are fraudulent to form a relationship against our, uh, our uh, interest in our land. Uh, so um, with that, uh, I'm just saying one more time that the Queen, although she's inherited the sovereign right to inheritance that has been derived by the King, uh, or King and King's Kings, uh, we are saying we are party to that contract of inheritance because we the ones that signed the deal to sell the lands right through all the native countries in the world with New Zealand's title. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. The traditional title uh, uh, overrules any other third-party interests to our two-party contract interests um, with the kings. Okay, so um, I think I've gone past the um, article that I wanted to just talk to you about, but I think this is long enough for the video. Um, that's our certificate for the shares. Uh, when we get um, Cook Street sorted out and set ourselves up here, then those all kick in. Oh, my program's on. Master Chef. Master Chef, uh, so I better, better get going. Seal of the Court. This is where I was, the Seal of the Court. Um, um, but I'll leave that for another video, okay? Now there I am in uh, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. We opened it up. Those carvings are my carvings of my ancestors in Tiki Tiki. Uh, Whakawhitira Native Court and this is all my own uh, title inside this marae why we're seizing all that and Kingi's land that's Kingi Tauru, the chief there and Hohepa Epiha and Willie Pater over here somewhere, I can't see him and there's Desmond in the corner at the back, my nephew he'll be taking the sheriff's job for me and Jamie Patrick here, the Patrick surname to the eight point star Patrick from Ulster in Belfast to Ulster here in North Island, New Zealand. So that's her a Patrick to that name Patrick. But I'm taking that title uh, of municipalities as being business. Okay, everything I do is commercial business um, uh, with, the, with the kings. Okay, and it's our own sovereignty with the King's sovereignty that we're recovering all the debt because the Queen has corrupted our flag, our flag and its martial law jurisdiction for their wars. They've filled the wars with that flag, kid me wrong, prove me wrong and that's what we're up against. The Queen um, uh, is no business um, um, woman to be in that position. We're going to fire her. Okay? Bye for now. Uh, today is um, Tuesday the uh, 25th of July 2017. John Wanoha, Auckland, New Zealand. Bye.